All right, welcome to this video. Hey, it's me, Mr. Ball. Um, so what this video is an overview is primary source footage of what's known as the West High School blowouts or um, student walkouts in Denver in 1969. This is, again, uh, one of the major movements that are um, protests that really started the what was known as the Chicano movement in Colorado. And this video was made by the city of Denver. And I'm going to play it in two parts. The first part is kind of just like an overview of what happened. And then we're going to hear an explanation from uh, one of the major leaders of the movement here in Denver, uh, Rudolfo Corky Gonzalez, um, explaining why it happened in his own words. But quick overview of what it was before I go to his explanation. students we see could be those of any large urban center, or what we witness has taken place all across the United States. The events you are seeing depict the West High blowout of March 20 on March 21 in 1969. They present a non-sequential panorama of a social statement. On Thursday, March 20, 9 a.m. at West High School, approximately 100. On Thursday, March 20, 9 a.m. at West High School. Hopefully, you saw that Chicano power sign. Um, but now we're going to get the explanation from Rudolfo Quirky Gonzalez of why this happened, centering on power. <laughs> Chicano leader Corky Gonzalez also commented. Well, there are many reasons for it happening, and uh, it has been developing over the years. Uh, the young people, and especially the Chicano group across the nation, is starting to uh, recognize the inequities in the school system and helping them to identify with themselves and uh, their contributions and their heritage and their culture. Uh, I feel that uh, it's not a individual or isolated instance. It is happening all across the country. It's happening especially all across the Southwest. Uh, it is our feeling that this was a, a minor eruption of uh, sorts, uh, people airing their grievances and starting to look for new and positive, uh, meaningful gains, uh, not only for themselves, but for their total community. The first day there was no confrontation as far as the youth were concerned. It was a matter of, I feel, police overreaction and a sort of a test of the strength of the uh, Chicano people. Uh, the, the next day, which was on a Friday, I think the biggest, one of the big largest demonstrations in the history of, uh, of our community took place at West and uh, uh, because of the many policemen there and the previous uh, macings and gassings and beatings and arrests, the day before, that uh, out of this came uh, some antagon the antagonism of having people, uh, policemen with uniforms on there and uh, prepared for battle, so to speak, uh, antagonized many of the youth. And uh, again, uh, the reaction created a confrontation. Uh, the answer, as I see it, and as many who uh, work with me and many people across the Southwest, and especially the the youth, uh, the answer is community control, community involvement, uh, taking part in making decisions and policy over our own lives instead of being controlled by what we would call absentee uh, school boards who live on the in the rich part of town and direct the lives of the people in the ghettos and the barrios. And uh, it is time now that young people are understanding that they must take an active part. This is our role is to create this uh, activity within the community so that the communities themselves will start to make decisions and control their own lives. <laughs> 